Welcome to Whitewater, a place you can belong before you believe. Wherever you are on your spiritual journey, we want to help you take your next steps towards Jesus. We're both a gathered and scattered church, meeting on Sundays at Cascade Christian and in homes, parks, backyards, and online. We exist to be a blessing and bring the whole person and the whole community into a flourishing life with Jesus. Welcome to Whitewater. Michael here. Uh, Happy New Year. Hope you guys had an awesome holiday season. If uh, you're new or checking us out, Whitewater is a Jesus-centered church where you can belong before you believe. If you're interested in knowing more about who we are or interested in getting connected, you can email us at info at whitewaterchurch.org. You can also hit subscribe below or follow us on Facebook or Instagram to stay up to date with what's going on. 
Guys, we have a really cool service for you today. Um, we are not in person today. We are uh, online only, and that kind of gives everyone a chance to gather together as families, as friends, as neighbors, to kind of start the new year from a uh, place of rest. We have a really awesome service plan for you, so I hope you guys enjoy. In a time when our world feels uh, so uncertain and is always shifting and changing, I just want to say from the bottom of my heart, thank you so much to everyone who has financially supported us. Um, God has been able to do amazing things through our church amidst the uncertain times. And I'm so proud to be a part of this family of, of people who care about blessing our community, about helping people find Jesus and explore their faith. And if you'd like to be a part of that, if you'd like to support that, uh, there's two ways you can do it. You can give online or you can mail us a check. We are praying for every single one of you guys, and I'm so excited to see what God has in store for our church this year. Hey, Whitewater family. My name is Jaylene, and today I wanna to share with you about prayer and rest. It's been another long year. I hope we can all take time to reflect and see the ways God moved and was always present through the ordinary, the profound, the unexpected, the suffering, the joy, the sorrow, and the peace. I also hope we can take time to rest, to take a deep breath and remember God's faithfulness and kindness through 2021. Whether you're ending this year full of hope for what is to come, or you're ending this year feeling depleted and overwhelmed by what another year could bring, God sees you. He hears the rejoicing and the crying out to Him. I want to share a practice of prayer that brings the purest form of rest. Recently, I've been learning that Jesus' presence is the gift. It is the miracle. It doesn't need to be a profound moment or encounter. Even when life changes or doesn't change, His presence is more than enough to meet our needs. When I create time to listen in His presence, I can truly rest. Many of us are burnt out. Many of us find ourselves constantly distracted. A researcher from Microsoft, Linda Stone, once said, continuous partial attention is our new normal. Many of us may have deep desires for something more, but we aren't sure where to start or what to do about them. Many of us are feeling disconnected from God and the people in our lives. We may feel like we aren't able to be present because our minds are focused on something entirely different. I believe much of the rest offered in this life can be through the practice of prayer, and more specifically, listening in prayer. So much of what we have called or used as rest really isn't the rest that restores, heals, and revives us. What if we chose to start the year prioritizing rest and prayer? What if we created rhythms as a part of our daily or weekly routine that provides space to rest and pray? Jesus encourages rest for the weary. In Matthew 11, 28 through 30, Jesus says, Come to me, all you who are weary and burdened, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am gentle and humble in heart, and you will find rest for your souls. For my yoke is easy and my burden is light. Even if you're in a space where you've run out of words, the Holy Spirit still intercedes for us. Paul in Romans 8.26 tells us, Likewise, the Spirit helps us in our weakness. For we do not know what to pray as we ought, but the Spirit himself intercedes for us with groanings too deep for words. Eugene Peterson's message in Lamentations 3 verses 28 and 29 says when life is heavy and hard to take, go off by yourself, enter the silence, bow in prayer, don't ask questions, wait for hope to appear. What if we were a group of people that waited for hope to appear in a divisive and chaotic world? I found that acknowledging Jesus's presence with me in a moment and sitting in the stillness recenters and refuels me. His presence doesn't change the circumstances in my life, it changes the hope I hold in His promises, that He will never leave me or forsake me, that He will renew my strength, that He fights for me. I've also found that picturing Jesus with me in a moment, or even past memories, reminds me how present Jesus is and has been. 
Acknowledging Jesus' presence with me reminds me that He holds my weaknesses, failures, burdens, longings. I am able to carry the ache of being human in this life with my Savior, and I am fueled by His strength rather than my own. We were never meant to walk through the seasons that we do alone. Not only do we need community, we also need Jesus' presence. Taking time to be silent takes practice. Our minds are so used to distraction. In my own practice, repeating a phrase while trying to listen has brought me back to the present moment instead of letting my thoughts run wild. Sometimes the phrase is, Jesus, come, and I say that over and over as I rest in Jesus' presence. Other times, the question I ask and sit with is, what do you want me to know? And I take notice of what Jesus might bring to mind. And most often, I don't prioritize this space to be still and end up feeling drained. Right here, wherever you are watching this from, here's an invitation to take a moment to be still, to find true rest. Before we do that, let's sit with Jesus' words from Matthew 11 one more time. Come to me all you who are weary and burdened, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am gentle and humble in heart, and you will find rest for your souls. For my yoke is easy and my burden is light. As we take this moment for a time of guided prayer, feel free to take time to rest within a posture of prayer at a time that works best for you. A question you could ask is, Jesus, what do you want me to know? Or, what do you want me to know about this specific situation? And then be still. Wait for God to bring something to mind. God always speaks in peace. For me, His peace comes with thoughts that align with Scripture and don't ever bring shame. Maybe you choose to sit in silence, and when you find your mind getting distracted, you pray a short phrase such as, Your presence is more than enough. Now let's take a moment to pray and listen to begin a new rhythm of rest. Pray with me. Jesus, we acknowledge your presence in this room, wherever we're at, whatever surrounds us, whoever's with us, or the space that the room holds, that you're there. Would you increase our own awareness of your presence here with us? And Jesus, right now in this moment, would you bring to mind the times you were faithful this year? how you carried us through what we didn't think we could go through on our own. Just bring that to mind, Jesus, whatever that could look like. Jesus, we thank you for those ways you were faithful. And even those times where it wasn't what we asked or how we thought it would look like, but you were still kind and faithful and good through it all. We give you so much praise for what you did in 2021. Now, let your mind just rest, and if you find yourself getting distracted, maybe try saying those, just a short phrase of asking Jesus to meet you here. And Jesus, would you just guide our mind to think of all that we're holding walking into a new year, not knowing what could come, the fear and anxiety that could surround our circumstances. Now imagine yourself, whatever you're holding for this upcoming year, surrendering it to Jesus, whatever it looks like. take it from you, knowing that He carries it all, that we don't have to hold it by ourselves. As more fear or anxiety or worry come to mind, surrender each one to Him, Him who can hold it all, Him who can take it. Thank Him for it, that He is our Son of Suffering who endured the cross that can hold our own burdens. Maybe even ask Jesus, what do you want me to know about this fear 
about this anxiety, this worry. Be honest with him, he can take it in your own mind. Imagine just Jesus walking one step before each of us in this next year, ahead of it all, a trustworthy guide. Just keep asking, keep sharing this space with Jesus, acknowledging his presence with us here. Jesus, we thank you for your presence. That we don't have to be at a certain location or with a certain group of people, that you are always with us. Increase our awareness for your presence with us. And we praise you for being with us even in the deepest, darkest valley that we might have endured in 2021. And you're also on the mountaintops that we could rejoice in through this past year that you are in both places and every place in between. Just thank him for how good he is. And Jesus, we love you. Would we surrender this next year to you and make intentional space for rest, for prayer, and the renewal of our own spirit just being in your presence. We love you and we trust you. In Jesus' name, amen. Now I want to invite you to sing this song with us. Blessed is the poor in spirit. Blessed is the one in me. For every thirst and every hunger, you are everything. Blessed are the Blessed are the ones who grieve In every moment unexpected You are everything To seek you is to find you And to know you is to want you And I want nothing more than you To see you is to love you And I can't believe
you can tell where we are in the pandemic based on the condition of our fiddle fig. If Vic can survive, we can survive. 